Good morning, America. There it is. They told me to smile. You happy? <laughs> Live in Times Square, this is GMA. And that new report about sunscreen and the truth about those SPF numbers. Oh, there's mm. Dr. Bo. There's what? Dr. Bo right yeah. there. Whitney. Out of that summer sunscreen headline, Consumer Report is out with their list of the best brands to protect your skin. Let's take a look. With the official start to beach season almost upon us, Consumer Reports is releasing their list of the best sunscreens to keep your skin safe all summer long. Their top three picks, La Roche-Posay Melt-In Sunscreen Milk SPF 60 at $36. Trader Joe's Spray SPF 50 Plus at $6. And Equate Sport Lotion SPF 50 at $5. According to Consumer Reports, those SPF numbers aren't always a reliable indicator of protection. Almost a third of their samples not matching the SPF number. We tested it 58 lotions, sprays, and sticks. And out of those sunscreens, 20 of them came in in our tests at less than half the SPF listed on the label. And while the Personal Care Products Council, a trade association that represents the sunscreen industry, told them it disagreed with their findings and that their methods aren't the same as required by the product manufacturer to assign the SPF designation, Consumer Reports stands by their report. And we're here now with board-certified dermatologist, Dr. Whitney Bow. Doctor, thank you for joining us. And I have a question because I use sunscreen, I, you know, obviously protect, you. protect my skin. And I'm just curious, how much do I put on? And what is the correct SPF? Because that's always the issue. I don't you know. want to aim for an SPF of 40 or above, and you've mm -hmm. got to look for the words broad spectrum. Because that means you're protected against both UVA and UVB. And my rule of thumb, you want to fill a shot glass worth of sunscreen. That's enough to adequately cover your face and your exposed areas, but you got to reapply that same amount every two hours if the skin is dry or even more frequently if you get wet or you sweat. For me, I may need a bigger shot glass. And, uh, slightly. <laughs> slightly. But also, Doc, there are so many sunscreens out there that protect, protect against, say, say pollution, um, the blue screen from your cell phone, from wrinkles. Do they actually work? You know, we used to think that ultraviolet rays were the only type that could actually damage the skin, and now new studies are showing pollution, blue light from your cell phone, from your laptop, floors, everything can do damage now. So keep an eye out for new products, new ingredients like iron oxide. Right. Very interesting. We'll keep our eye out. Yep.